Romania të thënë atër, djallë është o shoa ka hu propost që u aneksi kujnë në teritoris shokë që ju kujnë në society, but it shokët osë Romania në society. The simple fact that we counted the number of invasions of the Russians shows you how much we are uh, enchanted to, to, to see that happen. Kojnë një dhenë probujemo do neste do Rumunjë, do nashëk partnerjev, druzjev, Hello and welcome to Ukraine in Flames, a special project by Ukraine Media Center and NGO Euro-Atlantic course. And I'm your host, Maroslava Yeremkiv. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has had a direct impact on our immediate neighbors, turning them overnight into host countries or transit countries for refugees. Three million Ukrainians fled to Romania alone, with 100,000 settling there. Russia has already hit back, in a small way. There has been a hundredfold increase in Russian cyber attacks on Romanian targets since the invasion began. The country fears that Russian hostility could become more than just virtual. In today's episode, we are going to talk about the attitude towards Ukraine among Romanians and the support Romania has provided since the first day of the invasion. If you want to learn more about this subject, please continue watching this video and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our videos in the future. As a part of Russian information warfare, Romania was sometimes presented as a potential threat to the territorial integrity of Ukraine. In contrast to Russia, which was never portrayed as such. Although in reality there were never any talks of territorial claims of Romania to Ukraine. Maybe from time to time individual Romanian politicians voiced such sentiments. The latest example is the story of Senator Diana Shoshaka, who submitted a draft law proposing to annex part of the southern region of Ukraine. However, such politicians are marginal voices and do not represent the leading political forces of Romania. More on sentiments towards Ukraine and Romanian society, please welcome Mariana Prisizhnyuk, Ukrainian journalist based in Romania. Political situation in Romania is also very interesting. I would say that uh, Romania and the Republic of Moldova is kind of a uh, joint uh, space, uh, especially in context of political propaganda, disinformation, and uh, narratives which uh, Kremlin propaganda uh, employs against Ukraine. Uh, uh, in this region, uh, very often uh, pretty similar. Uh, so, uh, first of all, uh, this is demonization of Ukraine as a state. This is uh, harassment of Ukrainian refugees. Uh, this is uh, employment of uh, uh, ethical, ethnical uh, uh, issues against Ukraine, uh, language issues against Ukraine. These are main narrative topics of uh, pro-Russian propaganda. Obviously, there are some uh, groups, there are some politicians, and in Romania, I mean, the European state and NATO states, which uh, plays uh, in the place with Russia against Ukraine. Uh, these names are well known, and uh, the recent uh, scandal uh, with uh, Romanian senator uh, Diana Shoshoaka, who proposed to annex Ukrainian territories, a uh, shock to Ukrainian society, but it shocked also Romanian society because uh, obviously it is uh, it is uh, impossible uh, scenario from a uh, European country from NATO country. But I would say that it is one of the ele element of entire scenario how to destabilize the Republic of Moldova primarily because uh, it's it, it's not. Uh, specifically sweet for Ukraine, these kind of statements. But uh, when we uh, when we watch situation in Moldova, uh, in order to create one more uh, point of tension uh, in the Ukrainian near the Ukrainian border, it is very. It, it, it plays role specifically uh, for escalating this situation because uh, Romanian factor factor of uh, unification of these two countries because of uh, cultural ties and whatsoever uh, is extremely radicalized and people uh, perceive it very uh, different. So uh, it mostly affects the situation there rather than in Ukraine. Obviously, this kind of statements, uh, uh, this is a part of uh, a bigger scenario 
of uh, Russian agents of influence. And uh, yeah, but uh, Romania still uh, combate with this kind of Swedes very well. And uh, I think it's uh, one of the uh, most important partners of Ukraine uh, in the Eastern Europe, at least. One important common feature that Ukraine shares with Romania is distrust in the Russian Federation. Our neighbors realize that the Russian threat is the cause of instability in the Black Sea region, which affects Romanian well-being. Julian Shifu, state councillor of the Prime Minister for Foreign Affairs, Security and Strategic Affairs, will talk more about other things that unite Romania and Ukraine now. No steps back on the contrary. The full support is improving and it's extending as much as Romania can do. And uh, you have seen either it is about the support for your energy infrastructure. We deliver some hundreds of, uh, of generators. Uh, either it is for the exports, for the grains, for the, uh, uh, the, the lanes, the uh, European lanes uh, for exporting uh, goods, first and foremost the grains. Uh, as it is for support for uh, refugees inside our countries on support with uh, humanitarian help of the IDPs inside uh, Ukraine, as well as, uh, well, I just read the last day that we were the number one in, uh, in uh, supplying um, uh, oil to, to and, and everything, gas and so on, to, to Ukraine. You can't rule out, and there is a minority who is also dealing with this type of narratives. We have a specific, um, uh, actually, senator do, dealing with this, but that's marginal in the country, actually. The simple fact that we counted the number of invasions of the Russians shows you how much we are uh, enchanted to, to, to see that happen. We do have still some differences with, uh, with Ukraine, but this is manageable. We put them in some mechanism to solve it. And the most important thing is that we, uh, we want Ukraine to win. And actually the narrative coming from Russia are far less important. But we are happy that we have uh, an important growth last uh, year and we succeed in supporting both Ukraine with whatever we, we could. And at the same time, Republic of Moldova, who is the most vulnerable country in our region, uh, exposed to the side effects of the war in Crimea, huge inflation, lack of energy goods, and we succeed in, in, in dealing with those uh, shortcomings and the support of the pro-European government. The most important part would be the reconstruction of Ukraine, who will hold two levels. One is the physical reconstruction, but the other one, as much uh, important as the previous one, is the reform and the reconstruction of the state, of the Ukrainian state, based on EU uh, models. And in that area, we are also looking forward um, to assist Ukraine in the fields where we are holding uh, good expertise, first and foremost in the uh, civil emergency, area, but also on cyber defense, on some other fields, and I'm quite sure that we could cooperate in that in those areas as well. Providing housing to Ukrainian refugees, sending humanitarian aid and weapons to the armed forces of Ukraine is not just support from Romania, the Romanian diaspora. This is a manifestation of humanity and empathy because Romanians understand that Ukraine is currently fighting and defending not only itself, but also Europe as a whole. Katzel Korneliu, volunteer and founder of Vola Ukrainian Foundation in Bucharest, will tell us about his volunteer hub and will show a bit of it and the support of Romanian society he witnessed since the beginning of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Єдиний хаб в Румунії і перший пробували відкрити. Оце величезний наш коридор, де ми Проводимо збори. За основу маємо плетіння сітки, яку ставимо в простих мішках і відправляємо хлопцям. Тут вот так гарно кроється нашими чудовими волонтерами, українками. 
Канену. Листички. Вот. А, также мы собираем для хлопцев все, что нужно. Разный одяг, постельные там, человечие. И все это мыется дома. Каждый что-то берет с собой. Мы что-то получаем. Что а это самая важная комната. Одна из. Вот так мы делаем сеточку, которая прямая до хлопцев. И это нас надихает всех, что мы знаем, что, возможно, одна такая сеточка может сберегти жизнь. Потроху-потроху, подходячи до лета, была такая идея у одного из моих волонтеров сделать пикник для украинцев, потому что была такая втома, украинцы хотели відчувати себя теж людьми, а не беженцами, як воно. Хоча беженець це дуже гарне слово. Це е, бігти туди, де є протекшн. Воно звучить краще е, refugees, тобто в такому е, безпечному місці. Ну, е, слово таке. Uh, не дуже приємно на сьогоднішній день. І ми зробили перший пікнік, і на цьому пікніку я зрозумів, що допомога саме uh, дітям та українцям, біженцям, закінчується. В якому смислі? Вона закінчувалась вже, що менше і менше їхало, це радувало нас. А зрозуміло, що потрібно щось робити. І я дав таке запитання. Хоча була ідея, вы хотите помогать нашим хлопцам? Вы уже тут, вы в безопасности, вам приносят допомогу різну. И люди сказали так. Вот тогда э, народилась идея сделать э, великий проект. Это был проект. И он стал великим хабом. Хаб воля. И вы увидели, как мы тут встречаемся, с ними проводим всякие сборы. Uh, навіть зробили шашлик uh, з стафом. Вот. І воно народилася uh, така ідея, мрія. Uh, є, ну, не було в Румунії до, до нас ні одного хабу, який би цим займався. Навіть на сьогоднішній день існують uh, організації, чисто румунські, де румуни приходять. Ну, вони не відчувають, як українці. Тут, приходячи до волі, uh, Люди живут этим. Они знают, что плетут квадратный метр сетки. Они понимают очень хорошо, для чего это делается. И так работаем уже 18 отправок, 18 бусов. Из каждого из них несколько сеток. Медицина на тысячу долларов, до речі. И вот ростем. Это... Каждый день пробуем донести до румынов, до наших партнеров, друзей, что украинцам нужна помощь, что мы не остановим, что саме украинцы – это люди, которые работают, которые хотят чем поскорше звільнити от загарбника нашу, нашу державу, нашу Украину. Про российских не проводятся. Есть партия, которая поддерживает расистов. У них есть такой посередственный как то называть, нарративы, что вот, чего мы помогаем украинцам, это наши деньги. Ведут, ведут народ в оман. И они, они, на жаль, имеют поддержку достаточно велику, как политическая партия. И они ростут очень сильно. Они идут на какие-то встречи с российской с российским посольством, они имеют там какие-то планы свои для того, чтобы взять владу в руки. Просто они, как инструмент, используют ситуацию с Украиной. А митинги, на жаль, на жаль, я спілкувався с украинским посольством, меня запрошували что-то сделать этим, но просто не хватает для этого сил, чтобы этим еще заниматься. На жаль, они слабенькі. 
на жаль, нема такого нормального організатора, який би сказав, зробив би платформу, запросив би всіх і сказав, давайте зустрінемо, щоб зробити цю картину. Приблизно, я б сказав, 20% населення Румунії дуже сильно допомагають українцям. І настільки близькі нам вони, що вони нам браття. Звісно, вони нам браття. Є маса приблизно 60, які вони пасивні, так як нормально. А приблизно 10 дуже, ну, є хейтерів багато, 10% до 20. Це саме той процент, який підтримує ту політичну партію. Я б сказав, що якщо людина підтримує, то вона горить цим. А велика маса просто пасивна, но... Судячи по законам, по допомогі, що вже рік всі українці ж проживають безкоштовно на квартирах, замітьте, то, то це показує, що підтримка дуже сильна, дуже велика. You've been watching the special project by Ukraine Media Center and Euro Atlantic course dedicated to the Russian-Ukrainian war, Ukraine in Flames. In the description under this video, you can find information on how you can help Ukraine fight Russian aggression. If you find our work useful, please like and share this video. Slava Ukraini!